Okay guys, this video is about something you don't want to practice during the song, but you want to practice this thing before or after you start to practice thing. So warming up, it's important before you're playing your guitar and after you done playing your guitar. So general rule is when you're practicing things, you want your hand to keep as relaxed as you can. So it's not like doing this sort of movement, like ah, uh, like mm, it's it's like relaxed. I'm telling you this at the beginning because about one and a half year ago I was practicing Master of Puppets which is really fast song for down picking and it's, it's still very difficult for me to play but I was basically pretty much practicing the song with the technique that is actually increasing the down picking speed it's just I didn't know what I was doing so I was like why am I playing like that it's, it's pretty much wrong so I just stopped doing what I was doing like completely and then I realized that my down picking speed wasn't really moving anywhere. I was like, what I was doing before that? After some time, I figured it out what I was actually doing. So then I implemented it back into my practice routine. So let's get straight to the video. So what I suggest you do before starting to play songs or whatever, like before warming up. Let me show you with my phone what is a very good method. Okay. I have the metronome clicking here, it's 150 BPM. Just put the metronome, let's say, very close to the speed you can down pick. So not over, but not too slow. Then with alternate. and so on. You can increase the speed a little bit to get to the point where your hand is getting a bit like, you know, exhausted. And the next thing you wanna do for like probably one to two minutes, let me show you. The next thing I want to show you is what I was doing uh, when I was practicing Master of Puppets one and a half year ago. It's something you don't want to practice during the song, but you want to practice this thing like before or after you start to practice things like warming up to increase your picking speed. So now I will demonstrate what's happening. So I think I just put 230 beats per minute, I'm not sure. So basically you will hear the clicks, you're like tapping at your guitar. It's like... And then when you're getting exhausted, just take a break, maybe change the beat faster or slower, how you're feeling, and then go again. You're like straining your hand. And you can do the same, this is for like picking purpose, but for also alternate, like straining up and down. It's much more difficult to stay in the right track, so basically maybe slow, put slower BPM for down picking, alternate picking, and then go for the faster like tapping part. Do this like before you're starting to play and after you're done practicing and playing. Like five minutes before, five minutes after. It's pretty much enough. So what I was doing with Master of Puppet, quickly show you what, what the heck I was doing. So <laughs> I was like practicing the song with, with, with the kind of method that's actually good to practice your 
stamina for down picking and so on but it's not really proper or <laughs> good way to practice songs so basically put your like warm up after warm up and your down picking uh, faster practice routines separately from practicing the songs anyway here's the one also additional tip is that there are a lot of very very good songs you can play along to practice with down picking for example because i have my amarok bt which, which have very very thick strings it's pretty much giving me opportunity like when i'm practicing with the thick strings it, it's giving me faster practice results for when I'm playing with my other guitars, which have more thinner, smaller strings. So it's a win-win situation. But let's say a song, uh, Amon Amart, which is called No Fear for the Setting Song. Uh, this song has really great down picking parts. That's insanely good for practicing. Let, let me just play part of the song, just to show. I, I played this riff uh, in a good day with, with 100 tempers and speed to practice my down picking. Okay, this good is good for down picking practices. It's it's a really good song. First 40 seconds of this song. Um, uh, by the way, after the 40 seconds of, of this song is uh, also really good training for tremolo picking. So okay, I will just continue. You can see. I think this good is I think this song is really good for practicing alternate picking and tremolo picking and uh, down picking. Okay, so summarizing this video again, what you wanna do is five minutes before you start to play like warming up, put slower beat per minute, metronome on that is close or as close as you can to current down picking speed and alternate picking speed, and then go for like higher BPM and go do with the tapping exercises at the guitar. Okay, that's it. Then go practice songs, whatever you wanna, you're wanna practicing and then do the same thing like after warming up. Five minutes, five minutes. So yes, you can do longer period of exercises with warming ups, like more uh, tapping exercises. But at beginning, I would say, oh, don't overdo it just start steadily or slowly but uh, one of the good ways to increase your down picking speed you can do that even without a metronome you can basically sit on the sofa while you're watching tv and then just tap at your guitar you can pretty much be a madman just uh, thread <laughs> around like this believe in me or not this is a really good thing to do anyway see you in the next video hope you found this video useful Keep playing your guitar and so on.